hashtag Harry and Meghan are finished is blowing up and trending on Twitter as more and more crazy information is dropping about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And now things are looking very, very bad for this power couple that were continuing to try to victimize themselves all the way to all the fame and glory. And that is blowing up in their face in this crazy twist that we are going to be talking about. I don't think that they saw this coming. I don't think they were prepared for this. And this is absolutely hilarious. So Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spare fallout threatens Hollywood future, according to experts. The 38-year-old who lives in the coastal city of Montecito with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their two children dished out another tell-all, which hit bookstores on January 10th. It sold 1.4 uh, million copies during its first day on sale in the UK, US, and Canada, making it one of the fastest-selling nonfiction books of all time. But not so fast on the champ on the champagne popping, one royal expert warned. Those within the couple circle in Hollywood may be wary of what they reveal out of fear the pair will publicly speak out once more. So what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with this couple uh, who are completely fine with betraying their own family, the royal family. They were totally fine with stabbing them in the back and everything else in order to promote themselves and push themselves into firm, further fame and glory. They were willing to do that. What would be there to stop them from dishing out dirty secrets about people in Hollywood, about Hollywood elites and things that are happening in that place? So it sounds like that there's a lot of Hollywood elites who are obviously a, a very tight-knit group of, of people who do not want to let in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in their circles now because they are afraid of the dirty details they could dish out about Hollywood elites. And this is so funny. Because this is exactly the opposite of what Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were expecting. And I can only imagine that there has to be some unease with this couple right now as they are starting to have to wake up to reality and see that this is all blowing up in their face. Yes, they made a bunch of money. They made a crap ton of money completely selling out their family. But that is only going to last for so long. And this is all going to come back and bite them in the end. And it has already begun because Prince Harry was roasted at Critics' Choice Awards 2023. Enough already. So already there are certain people in Hollywood who are starting to call out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and churn on them. And this is only going to get worse and more nasty from here. They don't even realize. I don't think that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle realize just how cultish Hollywood really is and that they are there to protect their own. The elites are there to protect their own and continue to do all of the crazy things that they do in Hollywood that they don't want to be let out into the public. So Chelsea Handler didn't hold back in her opening monologue at the 2023 Critics' Choice Awards on Sunday evening. She teased Prince Harry in his recent memoir, Spare. Nisi Nash Betts is nominated for Dahmer. Dahmer became the third highest viewed show on Netflix with a combined watch time of 1 billion hours, said Chelsea Handler, uh, which apparently is the same amount of time we're going to have to listen to Prince Harry talk about his frostbitten peen enough already she went on so as you can see there's already pressure that is starting to build in hollywood against this couple and that is so funny so we're going to continue to see what happens with all of this but it is not looking good for the couple and that is so funny so hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon